Scorpio and cross watchers welcome back to Shay C Tarot I couldn't help but do another reading I was going through Scorpio withdrawal and I know a lot of you are too welcome cross watchers we are gonna go ahead and dig our heels in for those of you that want to get in the bracelet giveaway the announcement is going to be made either today or tomorrow we will pull the names my girls and I if they want to get in on the action again this time or not remains to be seen so let's go ahead and get started but get your name in there um, if you decide to do that all you need to do to qualify to get in the giveaway is um, like this video which which is the um, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel which is absolutely free hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when the video comes out of the release of the winners okay like the Facebook page or you know follow the Instagram I am mostly on Facebook so check that out that will be in the description area as well as in the comment section um, I've meditated on your energy on this deck and your person of interest on this deck but I want to say that the energies can go vice versa intermix be all of your energy or all of theirs and I definitely could be picking up somebody in the future if you have nobody in mind right now okay you're all gonna be different it can be a family member a friend a brother a sister a daughter a son it could be anybody that's close to you I just saw one 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 so for those of you seeing angel numbers pay attention to those I'm gonna shuffle they're gonna get loud for Scorpio these spirits we are very anxious to find out what is going on for Scorpio I cannot believe that we're already headed into the next month but yeah you know I was gonna go ahead and do some other uh, zodiac signs today and I'm going to but I just I wanted to get Scorpio done first because you know our readings for those of you that don't know that are brand new I'm a Scorpio Sun Cancer Moon Libra Rising and Sagittarius Venus and I find that our Scorpio readings take a lot of energy so I like to do them first while I have full energy um, because it does take the most okay for those of you that are interested I do the pick a card pick a pile per week now and that's to uh, see the energies if it remains popular I will keep it going but if it doesn't I will take it down so let me know in the comment section go check out the pick a card at some point I will do a continuation of our reading on Vimeo of course I always do what is going on for Scorpio what do they need to know for their highest good please spirits in the continuation on Vimeo I am gonna pull a lot more clarification cards with other decks for those of you that are new I'm if this is a twin flame energy uh, or journey you feel you are on with some person of yours whoever you're thinking about again you're all going to be different I will definitely be pulling some of the twin flame energy cards okay we'll be doing pick a card as well with those wow Scorpio this has been coming out in our reading a lot the page of wands so expect a message it could be some really great news that you've been waiting for it can be great news about anything heck it could be that your car's finished being washed <laughs> I don't know seriously seriously though page of wands has been coming out a lot and that's about like passion wands are about passion they're about movement they're about action so something that you've been waiting for somebody to take action on something <sighs> let's find out page of wands for Scorpio what is going on for Scorpio what do they need to know for their highest good for those of you that are brand new I always do the meditation before our readings so um, FYI I meditate strongly for a while interesting we have the four of swords so it's like somebody's taking a vacation or needs to take a vacation here um, it's like I need to retreat I've been through a difficult time somebody has been through a battle and they've laid their swords down and now they're in a period of rest retreat this could be you it's like there's good news coming in after a battle is how I'm kind of seeing that let's go ahead and get your person of interest energy again it can go vice versa etc now divine timing everybody I've had things happen to me six months year later I've had repeat clients of mine and general anybody that reads the general and watches the general readings and reads the general comments people have come to me and said this is happening now or this is going to happen or I'm meeting up with my person so or I've received messages or whatever so you're all going to be different so just remember that okay even though it's not happening for you now that does not mean that you can't actually if that does happen come back to me six months later three months later write it send me a message put it in the comments I want to hear from you okay it does happen so but I'll tell you one thing if some of you stay in a negative frame of mind then it won't happen the universe won't deliver if you just expect something to, or somebody to drop in your lap without making the effort I'm talking to Scorpios cross watchers whomever it doesn't matter all of us if we don't put effort in you can't expect the universe to just 
drop this person or this thing or this wish that you have in your lap. Okay, you do have to put a certain amount of effort in. Um, and remaining positive is, you know, very, very important. Okay, for Scorpio cross watchers, what are the messages? And for Scorpios, what do they need to know for their highest good about their person? How do they feel about them? What are the messages, please, for Scorpio that they need to hear for their highest good? Please, spirits, what are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear about their person? How do they feel about them? What are their intentions with Scorpio? What do they need to know, please? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What are the messages? What are the messages? Oh, come on. I know you got some messages for Scorpio. You're heating up. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, wow. Okay. We got the Ten of Cups, baby. This is the whole enchilada. Maybe, but we've got to find out. Sometimes tens can be completion. So let's check it out. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Now, there's some kind of good news coming in. So let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpio? Why is the whole enchilada here? Are they going to get the whole enchilada? interesting oh my goodness sakes look at this we have taurus capricorn virgo energy but we also have leo sagittarius aries scorpio pisces cancer aquarius gemini and libra for those of you that want to know the signs that are here this is about working really really hard on stability on long term on a foundation here so somebody's working really hard at putting the effort in a family situation or stability um, they're going really slow they're throwing themselves into the work this could be you like you're working hard on a foundation um, within your family or this could be that someone wants to come and offer you uh, one pentacle they're coming in ever so slowly but this means that they want to work on a foundation with you and a family with you the ooh, I mean we've got good news coming in here so let's keep going we're gonna go ahead and clarify the three of swords like I said I'll dig super deep in the extended I'm gonna go ahead and get the mutual energies for those of you brand new with our exclusive Shacy prism deck as well we're gonna see how you're mutually mirroring one another um, I'm definitely going to get some messages, guidance messages from the universe. And also, for those of you that are brand new, I'm in love with my new tarot of sexual magic. So we're going to do pick a card as well with this in the extended. And we're going to find out how your person feels about you physically. Hello. We all want to know, don't we? I do. <laughs> okay. And we're definitely going to do uh, some other clarification as well with the vintage deck. I've got my vintage deck here. So we're going to pull some messages from here. These are 50 years old. Uh, I uncombined them for those of you that are returning. I uncombined them. So I'm just using the 50 set now wow okay so we have the lovers card so somebody's made a choice or a decision here it could be a gemini but this is about a choice or a decision somebody took time out you or your person here to really think about what they want uh this is being divinely guided though this can be twin flame energy um but i have to dig a lot deeper again with the twin flame cards as well as to see how this plays out here i'll pull a few more cards but this is like the universe, this is major arcana, signifies a major choice or decision. But this is being divinely guided. This could be definitely a spiritual union. It's like the angels trying to bring two people together. And it's like somebody had to take the time to kind of uh, rest after a difficult period. Okay, it's like... I've made a decision, a choice. It's been a bit of a battle and a struggle. So I'm just going to kind of lay down here for a while. And there's some news coming in here. So expect some message. Uh, either you to your person or them to you. I feel like this is an offer coming into you and it's going to be stable. It could be I want to work on a commitment with you. I feel we could have everything together, the whole enchilada. We can have family together, friends, happiness, success, love, um, prosperity. And I want this to be a long-term um, situation. I'm willing to work really hard at this relationship. I've I've taken the time to kind of think about what I want and which direction I want to go. And I'm going to give you a message now. I'm bringing in a message to you. So, or vice versa. This can be about a job, but I, you know, about bringing stability into a family situation. Maybe um, finances have been difficult and it's it's been a decision here that's been difficult. It could be an offer of a new job or position or pay grade that increases wealth here within a family. It could be. Um, but we're going to need to dig deeper. The lover's card is usually a decision or a choice in love is what I'm feeling here. Clarify the lover's card here, please, for Scorpio. Leave me comments I want to hear. Okay, that's too many cards. How is everybody doing? 
what is going on things are lightening up a little bit yes they are omg scorpio hello <laughs> knight of pentacles we need to light some fire under that butt don't we <laughs> just saying cross watchers um you know if you're an earth sign it's very good that you're slow and that you're very careful it is but communication is the key too it is very important to be stable and grounded but it's also important to take risks and chances because we don't live forever and this horse is not moving i'm just saying i'm a scorpio so it's like yes I understand. I'm all about, I'm a fixed sign too, right? Scorpios, we're fixed signs. Aquarius and Leo and, um, what did I just say? Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio and Taurus. Yes, of course. So uh, this is fixed energy here with uh, some air and some fire and some water. We've got a mixed bag here. So that's good though. That's good. Uh, there is thinking time going on here but because it's a knight of pentacles it's somebody that's very very slow moving but it's on both sides so i feel like you and your person are moving very very slowly okay this could be you scorpio working really 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 hard and then all of a sudden you know somebody has been in a bit of a, a battle here um i know a lot of scorpions i've spoken to have been waiting for somebody or you know not that we're waiting it's 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 the fact that it's so slow and i feel like a lot of us or your person is just really focused dead on on finances and working hard it's like having your nose down to the grindstone and trying not to think about anything else here because if it's you waiting for your person scorpio and i'm talking to scorpio now it, it's it's your they're so slow okay and I want you to know that throwing yourself into your work is really good as long as you're focusing on yourself too. And I feel like your person here is going to send you a message. And it may have been slow in coming, but I feel like they have been through a bit of a struggle here. Um, uh, swords are about thoughts okay so it's like they've been through a difficult time they've hung up their swords and you may not have heard from them for half a minute or a while each one of you are going to be different and it's because they've been pulled by the universe to make a choice and a decision they have been guided to make a choice and decision um but make no mistake yes they've been making it slow but there is news coming in here and i feel like they definitely want to offer you everything or this is you wanting them to offer you everything or not seeing it because you're working so hard you may be working so hard you don't even notice but we're gonna dig let's get the eight of pentacles for scorpio what are the messages what are the messages now for those of you that are brand new i dig a lot deeper in that extended it ends up being about 30 minutes so it's well worth it again i clarify the heck out of everything because i just well scorpio we've got a dig and we've got a dig and we've got a dig eight of pentacles what are the messages please for scorpio what are the messages that they need to hear oh wow oh my goodness oh <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> Oh, Scorpio. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you both have the Four of Swords. You both have the Knight of Pentacles. You've both taken the time to retreat. You're both moving slowly. Um, but somebody's definitely had an epiphany here, gaining clarity. This is the Sword of Truth here. So it's like, again, somebody was tapped on the shoulder by the universe that this is a very special connection between two people. It's a spiritually guided connection couple coming together here i feel it again twin flamish right off the bat okay second card in but this is uh, a choice that had to be made somebody has has become really clear on what that is what direction that they're meant to go and it's it's like either they're going to speak their truth again with the page of wands this is going to be a message coming in it's going to be truthful it's going to be clear uh, somebody's had time to think you've been thinking they've been thinking they've been moving slow you've been moving slow and uh, expect a message this is what I'm seeing oh boy let's get the mutual energies inquiring minds want to know for Scorpio what are the messages what are the messages for Scorpio 
What do they need to know? I am going to sneak peek at August now a little bit. Oh, I always do that at the end of the month. I always do the next month thereafter to sneak peek at it. So we'll be doing that um, when I dig deeper as well. What are the messages for Scorpio and the person of interest? How are they mutually mirroring one another when it comes to this relationship? What does Scorpio need to know for their highest good? What are the messages that Scorpio needs to know for their highest good? If you want a personal reading, you can hit me up at shacy.com where I will dig in exclusively, of course, into your energy, okay? This is a general read, so just remember that. If it doesn't resonate for you, then this isn't your reading, okay? Uh, ask your angels for guidance. So the universe, you know, is saying, definitely, if you don't ask, you will not receive. But I feel like somebody has already done that because they've been tapped on the shoulder. Either you or them. I feel this is them because it's a very slow moving earth energy here. But it's also about being grounded, being stable, being sure. Somebody wants to be sure and it's they're being guided. And I feel like the universe is saying to you or to them or both of you, you know, if you're not sure you're moving so slow, ask for guidance because if you're spiritually connected, you can connect on that telepathic level and maybe meet halfway and figure things out here together. This is kind of what I'm seeing. What are the messages for Scorpio? What are the messages for Scorpio and Crosswatcher? Holy cow. Okay. Fear, jealousy, worry. So you both may be fearing this at the same time. Okay, but kind of not really... Um, talking about it too much i feel there's going to be some clear communication though with the page of wands the ace of swords somebody's becoming very clear that this is a very deep connection here spiritually guided connection this is like a connection you can't let go of scorpio pisces cancer emotions are running high okay there is a lot of emotion here okay for both between the two of you so you're moving very very slowly and very carefully you're taking you're, you're having patience. I feel like you're working and you're having patience. Okay. I feel like, you know, you can have everything with this person and you're very clear. This is what I'm seeing. I feel like your person is also becoming very clear and that they've had to kind of rest on things a bit. So you, again, you may not have heard from them for a while. And then all of a sudden you, you're going to, but slowly. It's going to come in slowly, but they are passionate here with that page of wands. It's some kind of good news, okay? Stuck, feeling trapped. So you may have both felt kind of trapped. This is also overthinking. You may both have, again, with the four of swords, maybe you've been overthinking too much, taking too much time out on both sides, um, overthinking about things, worrying, fears, jealousy, whatever. I mean, it's whatever we think about. I mean, we all get to the point where we overthink and it's not healthy. New love. There's definitely a connection here that's spiritually guided. And this could be brand new love. It could be brand new love here. Okay. We're going to dig a lot deeper in the extended Scorpio cross watchers. Um, Let's find out if there's any more action being taken. The Page of Wands indicates action is being taken. Messages either like uh, through the internet or in person here. Moving slowly. Somebody's becoming clear. Let's see where this is going, especially with that Ten of Cups. Is this building a future family or home together with a new person? For some of you, it's going to be a new person. For some of you, it may not be. But um, somebody definitely has a deep connection with you, and it is spiritually guided, and it could be Twin Flame. So again, we'll pull some Twin Flame energy cards in the extended. I'll do pick a card. And we're going to dig a lot deeper with the Vintage deck as well. We'll do pick a card as well with the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic and find out what the physical um, attraction, how heavy it is, what's going on, what your person's thinking. So for those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on the continuation for this reading, I will be right there. Namaste.